Before the age of the internet, it's hard to fathom how mass social revolutions ever happened at all. Imagine without a telephone, but yet we go back in history, these things did occur. Things are changing, people are talking, and why? Because of the power of ideas. By connecting ideas together, creative leaps can be made, producing some of history's biggest breakthroughs. Ideas are like organisms, they replicate, they have infectivity and spreading powers. They leap from brain to brain, they compete for the limited resources of our attention. They are the new replicator born from the primordial soup of human culture. Repetitive and mundane jobs also happen to be the easiest jobs to technologically automate. Without money as an obstacle in a resource-based model, Jobs people don't want to do will simply be automated, while jobs that involve human creativity will involve humans that get a reward from the work itself. So behavior is viral, and values are viral. Apart from that, it's also important to realize that this train of thought is extremely self-evident. And the goal is not to convince anyone of these understandings, but to set up the conditions for them to realize it for themselves. You don't impose, and if anything is really true, then we all should have the capacity to realize it on our own without feeling imposition. I draw up the scenario like this. If I took this group of people in this room right now and I put you on a deserted island with nothing but one coconut tree, how long do you think you reasonable people would last before it really hit the fan? Whether it be the stress of losing one's job, lack of purchasing power, having to submit to employment, or having to suffer a hostile corporate takeover, there is a relationship between these stressors, your health, and the amount of inequality that exists around you. In a 1992 Gallup poll, more than 50% of American adults, 94 million Americans, volunteered time for social causes at an average of 4.2 hours a week for a total of 20.5 billion hours a year. And that study was done in an environment where people also have to work for money in order to live. So imagine what type of creative and innovative work you might be excited to contribute to if your needs were met at a high standard of living. This is why we propose a resource-based economy. Money is not scientific. It's made up. It no longer works as a positive force in society. Instead, dividing, blocking, and usurping human ingenuity that has been present since the absence of money as a motivational force. Tesla didn't do it for the money. Armstrong wasn't a radio genius since his teens because of the money. Galileo didn't do it for the money. Martin Luther King didn't do it for the money. If you're only doing it for the money, it's probably not worth doing to begin with.